Well, the Chisholm Trail rail car was an artifact in and of itself. I think it had been a sleeper car for Santa Fe. In 1967, which was the 100th anniversary of the Chisholm Trail, it was decided to have a rail car museum, which would travel throughout Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And in the car, we had exhibits having to do with the Chisholm Trail. And they included art, included all kinds of documentary heritage, and a section of cowboy hats, of famous western cowboys in the movies. I was 23, I was in graduate school at the University of Texas, and I volunteered for the job. I then learned on the job exactly what my job was, because no one was, had told me what I was to do. So I found out I'm security, so I ride with the car when it travels. I also am the one who deals with the press. One of the, the other sides of being curator is the number of dignitaries that were involved with the Centennial program. And we had uh, uh, even the former president of the United States who was involved. One additional duty was to sell medallions and also Wayne Guard's book on the Chisholm Trail that had been selected as the official book for the trail and a pamphlet on the trail. And again, it was very, very important to have high sales of these materials. And so I received communications from the, T the Texas Historical Survey Committee and from the Texas State Historical Association and others that my sales quota had not been met. <laughs> I needed to do a better job of selling products. We also have the beautiful stationery uh, of the Chisholm Trail Centennial Commission. And so I was told that that was to be seldom used. I was supposed to use plain white paper, and on a rare occasion, depending upon it was a VIP, I could use one of these. Tex Watson was a person that I worked with closely. Tex was the person who was in charge of maintenance of the railroad car. And that's when I learned the value of having sardines for lunch. Tex had sardines every day, along with a whole onion. And so uh, we got very acquainted with this new uh, uh, system of eating sardines with crackers and onion. So when I wasn't working, when we were just coming into a town, I'd join him and have some sardines. The visit to Belton was the highlight of my experience on the trail. We had a huge crowd in Belton, and in fact, standing room only. And I think it was because of the Old Settlers Reunion, which was around the courthouse square. And also we had military vehicles from Fort Hood. And I remember being interviewed by Arms Forces Radio at the same time I'm trying to control the crowd. So it was a very unique period, very jubilant period for me. What I remember best is just having lengthy conversations with individuals who had ancestors who went up the trail. And if time had permitted, I would have recorded each and every one of these interviews because they would be priceless. These people were sharing these memories of their family and the Chisholm Trail, and it was important. But it was not something that was documented, unfortunately.